Oh, why? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the world of W. W. E. And today, we're going to be counting down my top five people that I want to see as surprise returns at the Royal Rumble match here. 2018 Royal Rumble. If you haven't checked the date I'm recording, the Royal Rumble that's happening this Sunday. I'm really excited because it's the World Press Way. The time when I'm most invested in it. I actually care about what well, I still watch it weekly. I've watched it weekly ever since the World to WrestleMania 33. But I think I'm going to care more this time. So, yay. Okay, but number five is very, 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 very unlikely. CM Punk. Uh, would I love it? Yes, it would make a great pop. And he's one of those superstars who, if, if he returns to the World Rumble, he must win a main event to WrestleMania, not when he wins with Brock Lesnar. Thank you very much. I don't think it's going to happen, because I heard by the great one. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't yet. He's amazing. The most important rule is respect the forehead. I'll leave a link to his channel below if you want to see it, so yay. So, because he said... Um, there's a news saying that CM Punk is going to be, think most likely going to be joining UFC. So it's very, very unlikely, but I would love to see. It. Number four, I go. The reason why he's so low is so my favorite all time. It's because it might not be a surprise, and that is the Undertaker. Imagine he returns to the world. It will be amazing. Kick. <laughs> I just said kick for the sake of saying kick. But the reason why I did this video, by the way, is because I have nothing else to film. I'm sorry, but the reason why I've got him so long because I think since he's going to be appearing tonight at the World 25, uh, which I won't be seeing until Sat Tuesday. Sad, I know, but I won't be able to watch it live. He's probably going to be confirming it. He's probably going to be confirming if he's going to wrestle. I've one more one to WrestleMania, like Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. Then he's retiring, or has he retired, and he has retired for good. I think that question is going to be answered, but Dong Undertaker, it'll be cool if he's in it. Okay, number three is Break the Walls Down, Cliss. Jericho, I've had all my, these are my brother's figures, by the way. Because if I don't say that, he won't be happy with that I've it. Chris Jericho, I would love to see him return in a Royal Rumble match. And especially with his match against Kenny Omega. I haven't seen that match, but I want to see it. But Yeah, I will try my best to see it. And by the way, I, I have been to a WWE event. It's a live event. But if you want me to see my reactions, let me know in the comments and I will do it. Here he is, the white Mr. White True J himself, Chris Jericho. I'd love him returns. He was one of my favorites back in 2016, and uh, and late, I like he was my favorite in 2016 and 17. One of my favorites. He's just so like White True J. You just made the list. You know what happens? None of you must hate this guy. <laughs> You know what happens if you hate this guy? So I got my camera down. Pretend I have a piece of paper and a pen here. You know what happens? You know what happens? You just made the list. I hope you're happy. Number two is Dolph Ziggler. Love to see him return. And he's one of my favourites. I wanted to return at the Royal Rumble and win. No questions asked. So we have AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler. WrestleMania. I know she gave us a, she says like, mm, a dream match, but that can wait. Dolph Ziggler needs his time to shine. And plus, it would be maybe for a better story, because like I say, he says you want makes a, you want a big statement, you want something to talk about about me. Drops the U.S. title, relinquish it. It's not been seen since the Royal Rumble and wins the Royal Rumble. Great storyline perspective. I would love to see that happen. Dolph Ziggler is one of my favourites. He is amazing. Number one is Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. 
his whole story with Shane McMahon has been really interesting. I kind of hope it doesn't involve him turning heel, but I wouldn't be mad because he's got a concussion problem. But back in 2002, I think he'd still be wrestling full time, which is why Wolf Van Dyke can't wrestle because he's got concussion problems now, which is really annoying. But Daniel Bryan, if he returns to the Royal Rumble, it's no mistake, he must win. So, get that win under his belt. So, we get AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. And my goodness, what an amazing match. But if he doesn't, if he returns at WrestleMania, I think the best match for, would be Shane McMahon versus Daniel Bryan. I would love to see that. As long as that this feud is not just for Daniel Bryan to have one more match, he must either do it occasionally part time or ideally full time. But if he does return to the Royal Rumble, there's no question to ask. He is winning. That's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to thumb up the video, all that cool stuff. If you uh, click the notifications button so you do not miss out on any of my awesome content, which is not, I'm new to this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye, guys.